All right, so I'm going to be answering a common question that I see online, and that question is, do I need CO2 in a planted tank? Now, the answer to that question varies depending on what your goals are personally for your tank, because CO2 does allow you to grow uh, more advanced plants, and you'll get better growth, and you'll have better looking plants in general. But if you're a beginner, and most of the time it's a beginner asking this question, I highly recommend starting off with some low light plants, plants that don't need a lot of fertilization or CO2 supplementation. So um, plants like dwarf sage, jungle vel, hardy things, hardy plants that are, have been used by lots of people and that way you'll be able to uh, look up a lot of information and, and tips on how to grow those plants because a lot of people have had experience with it personally. Um, so that's my tip for beginners. So the answer to that question would be no. You do not necessarily need CO2 to grow plants successfully. Um, I grew all the plants you see in this tank without CO2 for, uh, what was it, 200 days. I just made a video of the 200 day timeline of this tank. And I just added the CO2 today. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, don't, definitely don't recommend CO2 for beginners. Um, I've seen a lot of people try it out right away and they've had problems with algae and balancing just because you're not familiar with how to grow plants that well and uh, you really need to work on um, you know starting off with the basics and then working up from there and you'll have a lot more success that way so uh, that's my answer and thanks for watching